Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Willie V, aka Boo Boy Kennels of iTexture.com. In today's tutorial, we, we are going to look over a command in terminal, which is the inet or init command, depending on how you like to pronounce it. So let's go ahead and uh, get logged in first. So we can go ahead and uh, get started. And it'll take just about a just a moment. All right, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and uh, open up terminal here, and we'll get that started as well. Um, one of the things you want to keep in mind that the inet or init command is somewhat similar to the reboot and shutdown commands in terminal with a few variations. The uh, inet or init command is actually used to terminate or restart processes within your Linux uh, distro. Now one of the commands, and let me see if I still have this up, it's, it's somewhat of a variation of it, would be to restart your Apache server. So here we have the sudo etc inet.d forward slash Apache and then restart. So that's one of the ways to restart the Apache server. But what we want to do is we want to either restart our system or reboot our system. Now again, like I say, you can do this with the reboot and shutdown commands but also the uh, init or inet command. The variations that it has is if you do inet zero, that would, of course, shut down your system. Inet six will reboot your system, and inet one will put your system into a single user, single user mode. This will allow you to do um, system administration or maintenance on the system as itself and the inet3 will basically put it into a single user mode without any graphical user interface while inet5 will do the same thing but it will give you the graphical user interface so let's just go ahead and um, restart our system here and we'll do it as a sudo inet six and then you'll notice that our system will go ahead and reboot and basically restart itself so we'll go ahead and now give this a moment so you can run through that process And here we are back at our uh, command prompt. Now, I have it set up where I have to log in, but you may have it set up where you don't have to. So if you don't have to log in, you'll basically go right back to your desktop. And there we basically have it. That's using the inet or init command, however you like to uh, pronounce that. Now, again, I'll go ahead and uh, put up the information for the other commands that you could use with this particular uh, terminal command in Linux. Now, it does not work on uh, Mac OS X Leopard, but it does work on the uh, latest version of Ubuntu and pretty much most Linux distributions. 
Anyways, this was uh, Willie V, a.k.a. Boo Boy Kennels of iTexture.com. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch.